Father, may I have some oats? No. I am starving, brother. As am I, brother. The tall, skinny figure has thrown the oats at me. Me, brother. I believe they have taken a liking to me. No, brother. I have seen this before. I have observed many things. From the roaring beast that the tall, skinny figures crawl inside of to travel far beyond the horizon to how the figure weeped when the other had fallen into a deep sleep. And from my experiences, I have learned that they will give extra oats to one of us before taking them into the Shed of No Return. They will do terrible things in that shed, brother. Lies! That shed is where the Chosen Ones go to dine with our tall, skinny gods. You are a fool, brother, and you shall be left behind in the mud with your backwards ideas. No, brother! You must believe me. Share with me the oats, and you shall not reach the desired girth for the tall, skinny ones. They will spare your life, brother. Aha! So this was all a plan to steal my oats. You truly are despicable, brother. I will not trust your lies. Brother, when they took me outside the reaches of the pointy fences, into the roaring beasts and way over the horizon, I saw it. I was taken to a gathering of these tall, skinny figures. They paraded me around, brother, and I saw the truth. I saw the tall, skinny ones consuming our flesh. They did not just consume it either, brother. They took pleasure from this. Their mouths curved a wicked smile and some even let out moans of satisfaction from consuming our flesh, brother. They are no different than the furry red demon that consumed and terrorized us and the feathered ones. <laughs> Your story amuses me, brother, but does not convince me. I shall have these oats myself and dine with the tall, skinny gods. I am sorry for you, brother. Your eyes cannot take the blinding light of the truth and you scurry back to your cave. I shall take care of your spawn once they consume you, brother, as they have consumed your lover, our father, our mother, and many more. <laughs>